Okay, so making biochar in a wood stove. I have a small wood stove, so I use a real small ammo can. If you have a bigger wood stove, you can use a bigger can. This is the smallest can, the smallest ammo box they make. You can see it's all warped. This is probably made probably 200 batches of char. So the steel warps it, but that's no big deal. There'll be a gasket inside that'll burn out your first chance your first burn. So what I'm burning is wood chips that I just chip wood scrap. Uh, just twigs, branches, vines, stuff, you know, woody stuff. And I, I like to use wood chips because then I don't have to break down the char after it's done. You can make char out of bigger branches. In fact, I'll put something in here just so you can recognize it when it comes out. You don't want to pack it too tight, you want the gas to be able to escape because it, what happens is basically you bake this box and the gases escape, you'll see it later. But if you pack this too tight it'll make it more difficult for the gases to escape. So that's it, I'm going to put something in there for you to recognize. This stick uh, is going to be right on top. and. Uh, I'm just going to put that on top of the wood stove and then later on I'll put it in the wood stove and show you how to do that. Okay, so the, the ammo box has been on top of the stove just drying out in case there's any moisture in the wood chips uh, that would dry it out. And uh, it's the end of the night. So I have coals in here and before I go to bed I just uh, put the box in here. First thing is just spread the coals out a little bit. What I like to do is uh, put a little bit of wood in there to help a flame go because a flame helps the gases ignite. What this is is a little mini uh, double retort system. So we've got uh, the wood chips in the ammo box are going to bake and the gases in the woods will escape and the gases will come out at that joint between the lid and the box and when they come out they will ignite. You can see the the marks on the box from last night's burn where the gases were igniting and causing that uh, the black marks on the box. So anyway, put that in. So you put the box in upside down and then just a little bit of kindling maybe from the sides to make sure what I put in on the sides takes off. I got some pallet wood here. Put in there and then a piece of 2x6 and a 2x4. Put a little bit of red wood needles in there just to help the flame go. Make sure the stuff takes off. And so I want that to burn for a little while and get the, the wood chips in the box real hot. And when I see that uh, a flame is going to start coming out of this seam, then I can shut it down. So Okay, so it's baking pretty good. Now you can see some smoke coming out there, but it's still not flammable yet. A lot of times the first smoke is a, a lot of steam. It's really just drying out the last bit. We live in a real wet climate, so even though the, the wood chips are dry, just the ambient moisture is greater than most places. So it's a lot of steam coming out. But let's see what happens when we close it down. You can, now it's starting to ignite over here on the side. If I dampen it down, it'll take off. You can see those flames. Yeah, so now uh, the gases are coming out of the lid here. And you see they take a while to ignite, but that's the gases burning. And that flame against the box is baking the contents even greater and forcing more gas out. This is a gr real nice flame coming out of the lid here. That's all just the gases of the wood 
baking the box even further and driving more gases out. So that's it, just leave it go like that. I like to dampen it down quite a bit and just let it uh, cook and in the morning we'll have uh, another box of biochar, little by little, micro double retort. Okay, it's the next morning, the stove is cold, so there's no danger of burning yourself. Take the can out, take it outside. Okay, so here's the char. It's just char now. It becomes biochar when you uh, add uh, compost, urine, and water is the the typical three things that you uh, put in there to hydrate it, to uh, give it some nutrients and some microbes. Uh, I dropped it, so I don't know where that stick was that I put in. But anyway, here's like a something like that. It should be real brittle and breaks really easy. And something that size right there has one acre of surface area. It's so porous to hold the water and the nutrients. And the best thing about using the, uh, the little uh, wood chips is that you don't have to break it up. It's ready to put in the soil after it gets charged. Okay. Plus it'll stay in the ground for a thousand years, taking the carbon out of the carbon cycle.